I have a problem with thrifting. I thrift probably about three times a week, uh, one to three times a week. And then I like to upcycle and thrift flip my clothes. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Also, this is a try on haul. I'm gonna start with bottom. So these shorts were a size, oh, I cut the tag off. Okay, these shorts were a size 10. I remember. Ugh, what's wrong with my voice? These shorts were a size 10, and then I fixed them to be a size. I don't know what size I am in that same number. I have a 24 inch waist, basically. I would just like to say that I'm not trying to brag about how tiny my waist is. I'm just saying it for comparison so you know the ratio and how large of a size you can probably go if you are going to thrift flip a very large size compared to yourself. So, yeah, that's why I keep saying. 24 inch waist just so you guys have a reference so yeah that's what these are um they were only three dollars and then i was like eh, why not if i mess up then no biggie pockets are kind of close to each other but i don't really care i like them and the pockets do really get close to the seams but it's okay and then on that same trip i went to the thrift store i bought this dress well it was a dress from Victoria's Secret and then I cut it into a tank top because people told me that it looks like a grandma's nightgown. So I have this tank top. It has like blue roses. I thought they were blueberries at first. It looks like this and has like three buttons down the middle with the lace edge. I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold. How much cream cheese do you guys put on your bagel? I don't put a lot. Okay, next thing I got is this skirt. It's a brown skirt. It has some like black dashed stripes down it. It has a button on the side. It's kind of wrinkly right now, but this was a size 16. Now it fits a size 24 waist because I'm really tiny. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, What I did was I cut off where the second like seam thingy is. See how there's like two lines down here? There used to be like one here and then one down on the other side but I cut it off. So then I cut it down there and then I made two new ones so that's symmetrical and it's good. The next bottoms, I think these are the last pair of bottoms. Actually, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> are these Levi uh, joggers? But they remind me of like those cargo pants. I haven't worn these. I thought that they would fit a little higher because I have a long torso so my pants have to always be high rise. They're not even bad though. They're really nice quality. It has a stretchy waist. The only thing is I don't really like the band. I'm just like really into the cargo pants trend with the belt chain. I think it looks really cool, industrial and just something different. And then with these I usually wear, well I would wear this tube top. I made it out of a old gray t-shirt. Yeah, I feel like Blackpink when I wear this. Like, kill this love, do 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 vibes. I... Why did I say vibes? Yeah, it's from an old t-shirt and I just cut the like waist part and made it a tube top. I don't, not really a fan of tube tops. The reason why I have this is because I was planning on putting straps, but then my friend said, no, just leave it a tube top. So then I left it a tube top. If I do wear it out, I'd probably wear a jacket over it because self-confidence. I want another bagel. The next bottoms I have, this skirt. <laughs> it's a long maxi skirt pleated and it's like a taupe almond off-white color. I was planning on cutting it because the waist fits me perfectly. High-waisted, really good. And I was planning on cutting it because then it's more wearable for me. But I'm keeping it this length because I don't know the next time I'll be back in Asia, but they do wear like really long skirts and it fits so nicely and I'm so happy with it. Um, I don't really know how to style these because I don't really wear them, but I thought it was cool. It was only like $2. I forgot that I'm not mentioning these prices. I'll do that for these next clothes. Okay, that was the last bottom, but this one is a dress. It's my favorite, favorite thing that I've ever thrifted. I don't know how I got so lucky. It's this off the shoulder nude, like gingham, not gingham, plaid button down dress. It's off the shoulder. It's literally my favorite thing ever. The price. 
it was $15. Now, that's not a bad price when you look at the brand, and it also came with tag. But the thing is that when I'm thrifting, I expect like dollar prices, probably like $5 and below. $10 is like my max, but I really wanted this dress because it was so cute. Don't try to buy things that are super expensive because then otherwise I should just buy it brand new. But yeah, I'm so happy with this dress. It's from the brand Privacy Please, and I looked it up and it was a brand sold by Reformation, and I was like, whoa. So this is expensive. So yeah, it's super cute. Sort of like picnic-y cafe outfit, even though I don't really have anyone to go to a cafe or on a picnic with. Oh my gosh, I found another bottom. But the thing about this bottom is that I tried to make it fit, but the problem is that it just doesn't fit. So my brain was like, oh my gosh, Mika, you can do this. You can make it your size. It's a pleated skirt. <laughs> It's a black pleated skirt, basically. And I was like, okay, this used to be a maxi one, right? And then I was like, okay, I'll just like fold it over like so and sew it down like that and then cut off the excess. And it worked, but then I made it too small. And this, this skirt frustrates me more today. I think when I was making this skirt, I ate dinner and I was a little uh, bloated. So my waist was a little wider than normal. Now I had to, okay, I'm literally the worst at storytelling. Basically, I made the skirt fit me, but then it was a little tight, so then I was like, okay, it doesn't fit comfortably. I gotta expand it a little more, and then I messed up. And since it was like a maxi skirt, then I was like, I'll just cut off the top and make a completely new skirt, which is what I did. So I made a new skirt, and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I did it, but it looks so bad. Yeah, so that happened, and the button is like uh, gross. I didn't even make a buttonhole. I just like took scissors and chopped one open. And I was like, okay, this will work, cause I'm not gonna wear it because the skirt it goes like this on the waist. Like the hem isn't straight at all. That was my first time making a pleated skirt, and I had a lot of issues with it. But in the try on, as you can see, it's a little big now <laughs> because I didn't have as big of a dinner <laughs> before putting it on. So yeah, it it's too big. <laughs> I mean, it sits on my hip, but But it doesn't fit! The only thing is that it kind of looks like a kilt because of the length. It's like at my knees and it makes me look short. I found one jacket. Right now I'm on the hunt for a blazer because I've seen photos of people casually wearing blazers and I think it looks pretty cool. But I can't really find one in my size right now and I can't alter a blazer because that's really complicated hence why they're so expensive. And I did find one yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, this one's cute. And it said made in Japan. I was like, oh my gosh, please fit, please fit. And I put it on and I was like, oh my gosh, it fits. And then I stretch out my arms and I'm like, and I, oh, it doesn't fit. It was $5 and I was like, ah, I want it, but it doesn't fit. So there's no one in getting it. Then I put it back and I found this one. This isn't a blazer, but I don't even know what kind of jacket this is, but it's a jacket. I don't even know what pattern this is. It's like gray and black. It kind of hurts my eyes. Can you see it? Can you see it? That's what it looks like. Um, it has some scrunchy sleeves, a scrunchy waist. It has like a navy blue lining on the inside and it has a black button on the top under the collar. What it looks like zipped up. And I didn't do a try on cause I kind of forgot about the jacket. But it, it you, you, know, you, you don't really need to know what it looks like on me cause it kind of just looks like, yeah. This next one is just for loungewear sleeping. If you're a Floridian, you would know about Simply Southern. Southern, Simply Southern, is that the brand? I'm from Florida, I don't even really know the brand because I don't wear it. It's the Vineyard Vine. They have like different branches. So this is Southern Marsh. Um, it's a light blue long sleeve. It has a pocket and it has like a swan on the pocket. Looks like that. In the back has a fish and yeah, I think it's a sea bath. Oh, it's a rainbow trout. <laughs> But yeah, it was only like $1.50, I think, so, but yeah, that's that. When I go to thrift stores, I look for not only just like things that fit me, but also look for fabric. So I buy things that are super large on me just so I can get a fabric, and that's what I did with these two tops. They used to be button downs, and then I turned them into off-the-shoulder tops. So there's a pink one, and there's a purple one. This one has like a sort of butterfly sleeve. This one's more flowy and beachy. I did crop this kind of short, but I do wear high-rise, so it's not cropped crop, but yeah, I really like them.
them. These were like one of my first thrift flips. Okay, the last thing, it was only a dollar. So I was like, why not? My brother found it. It's an American Eagle sweater and it's gray. It looks like this. It's a little oversized, but not oversized. I'm happy with it. It was a dollar. I look at the tags that are half off and then I look for those for the most part. They're cheaper and I'll just thrift flip it. So if I do mess up, then it's not like I really lost anything. Maybe my time, like that skirt, but it's all good. So the last thing are these nude heels. I did not do a thrift, thrift. I, I did not do a try on clip of these because they're shoes and I don't like when people see my feet. But I forgot to wear shoes in all those try on things. So that explains that uh, please don't look at my feet in the try on clips. I probably should have said that before, but I hope you guys didn't notice. Please don't scroll back into the video and look at my feet because I really don't like my feet. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Yeah, these are Cole Haan nude heels. I am in BLA and Key Club, and we have to attend the state conventions, so that's why I got these. Um, they're seven and a half, but yeah, they're really comfortable. They're more, uh, they're, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. The only thing is that they were $20, well, $17.99. And I've been looking for nude heels for the longest time. And since they have shorter heel, it's businessy. So, yeah, I decided to put them on. Yeah, it looks like that. Cause you're not seeing my toes. Um, so that's that. Those are all the clothes that I got while thrifting this summer. Thrifting was a new hobby that I picked up that's kind of my collection right now. I talk way too much. I think it's because I'm still hungry after eating that bagel. I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> it's been so long since I did a sit down video. I don't really like doing sit down videos because they're just like. Uh, uh. Can you sneeze? Okay, I don't know. I literally need to stop talking and end this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this and you want to see my face more. Um, I post a lot of kind of random videos. I post... Yeah, you can check out my channel and watch my videos to see what else I post. <laughs> So yeah, you should uh, subscribe and turn on the notifications to know when that video is up. I'm literally going insane. Bye. I don't want to actually touch your camera.